सो अंजलि मैनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू यू बहुत बहुत बधाई आपको यूर वंडरफुल सेलेक्शन एंड अलॉन्ग विथ योर वीजा गॉट अप्रूव्ड टेल मी अबाउट बेसिकली योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट सो माई नेम इज अंजलि आई एम फ्रॉम केरला सो आई डिड माई बैचलर्स इन फिजिक्स फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिकेट विच इज इन केरला देन आई गॉट कोरियन गवर्नमेंट फेलोशिप so i went to south korea for my masters in physics now what was the I name of my... the fellowship it was a korean government fellowship oh. uh like korean government will invite some students which is selected based on mm. the merit okay so i got that fully funded fellowship for masters and phd students can you explain that that process what was the the process suppose someone wants to apply for that yeah actually uh korean government fellowship has two tracks uh, embassy track and op- university track so i applied through embassy track so it's like you can select three universities which okay. you want okay yes so i selected uh, snu seoul national university yonsei university and uh, chunnam national university okay. three of them and first uh, you have to send all of your document to government okay. then they will uh, shortlist some students mm-hmm. then they have some dev with you then you know it's like a step then there are three more steps of shortlisting shortlisting then they will send your documents to university okay and five step like that all right all right so then when did you go to or you come to korea i came to korea in 2021 oh. so this is like a three my masters was three year program if mm. you are going through chip you have to learn korean language one year yes so i did my language diploma one year 2021 to 22 okay and i joined in 22 yeah mm-hmm. and what was your percentage grades in undergraduate in india uh in undergraduate it was 86 percentage very good percentage okay so please continue yeah then i i am going to graduate next month i didn't graduate it's like in the fourth semester the master's then, master's yeah yeah so mm-hmm. that's all about myself uh, self then i got a, admission for phd in biomedical hmm. engineering tingdon university st louis st louis okay so uh, tell me about your your studies uh, in 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 korea what you studied what was your thesis on and grades in few words yeah so i did my masters in physics so my specialization was on optics uh, fiber optics and imaging mm-hmm. and uh, Yeah, uh, my grade was like it's it's CGPA. Korea yeah. has CG four point three. I got around three point nine out of four point three. Excellent. Which yes. is ninety four in like percentage something like that. Yes. yes. Then my yeah my thesis was like I worked in two like uh, optical tweezers for like transporting drugs and everything mm-hmm. and optically. So one of them was in collaboration with a US lab NIST. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is with uh, like uh, my professor so basically i did two projects uh, for my master's thesis yes yes so how did you find korea you love south korea <laughs> <laughs> no sir it was a accident it's like uh, unexpected i actually joined one course after my ma- bachelor's year i joined central university but in the first semester i met a student okay. she was really passionate about Yeah, and she said like, "Hey, there is a scholarship. Let's apply." Because she was bored to apply around, okay. so I thought like, I was in the middle of semester exam, and she said like, "Let's apply after semester exam for just mm. check." Like, so I just gave her a company, but uh, unfortunately, she didn't get. But they selected me, so that was my. <laughs> she must be very upset. <laughs> she was really. She was working hard for it. In my case, I was like, you know, trying a lot. Yes, that's yes. all. You, you never know what comes In- ahead. Yes, yes. So when you decided that you want to explore PhD program in the US? In my first semester, I decided. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with a visiting professor from US. Mm-hmm. He worked in for a collaboration lab. So. I worked with him, and he was inspiring me. He said, "Man, okay. like, uh, you can, or it's it has much more opportunities and everything." Mm-hmm. That. So, I- so you are basically going uh, Washington University, Saint Louis. Okay, yeah, tell yeah. me about the scholarship program and and what uh, research you want to explore there. Okay, so uh, I got accepted by Washington University in Saint Louis. First, I got professor fellowship. Then my professor said there is a A fellowship like a like 
university fellowship which is connected with government mm -hmm. so he so while and he said like you can apply for that that is much more better it's called yes. mcdonald national fellowship mm -hmm. and my you know on say was a partner university so my chances was higher right, okay. so i applied for that fellowship they had an interview then mm -hmm. i got the fellowship wow. so that fellowship yeah so that fellowship is really different from other one like oh, yes. they provide you i ticket actually and settlement allowance yes, tuition yes. fee and, and I everything think, like that. and stipend is also higher than gta yeah yeah they mm -hmm. uh their salary is really higher and also they don't give that much of tax uh, taxes less for mm -hmm. fellowship yes because it is fellowship you you that's, remind that's... me uh, i think sanjana taneja she got university uh, yale uh, but not with that fellowship but there was another university i think it was maybe washington university centrally they awarded her uh, this this fellowship yeah. and, and I, how much is the stipend per month do you remember that i'm not able to recall around uh, like per year it's around 40000 yes, dollars yes, yes. Uh -huh. so yeah maybe 3300 yeah. uh, yeah, something which like is, which is pretty high uh, with this kind of uh, allocation flight booking That's and basically that good. is your fellowship I and mean, it's up to you yeah. what you want to do and that boosts your profile when you seek academic or industrial position when you going to mention that in your cv so you are i think already filtered <laughs> candidate <laughs> so bahut bahut badhai aapko and let's talk about mishap with with your korean i mean visa us visa from from korea tell me about it <laughs> it was full experience like i already had a one us visa b1 uh, visa i went us for a, a 10 day conference. conference so i second visa must be easier because yes. i already have visa it was smooth the first visa was smooth uh -huh. so i went to i tried to apply from korea in uh, may 15th or something and i have all the documents and i hear that they don't Actually, I also hear they don't reject PhD students because we are fully funded. Fully funded program. So, yeah, it. Uh, I don't know, but uh, there was a there was a lady in the embassy. She was actually famous for rejecting foreigners. <laughs> so I, I was exactly in her. She's like, she just checked my profile and she she didn't talk to me anything. She said like, oh, doctorate and what's your plan after graduation? Mm -hmm. And she asked me like, how much Indians pay for you? Something like that. I I gave some answers and. she just say like so sorry unfortunately i can't provide you the visa and mm -hmm. i was like i was really depressed i don't know like <laughs> what is the yeah yeah and then i i recommended you come back to india for a while and, uh, and I, have your uh, visa done yeah. so tell me in indian perspective uh, where were your visa done and what were the questions and answers In my visa interview and biometric both are in uh, chennai chennai us embassy mm -hmm. i had my biometric 19 uh, of this month yes july july my in 25th of july around 9:30 mm -hmm. i was really I, i actually i called you many times i was like uh, i have a habit of searching in chat gpt everything <laughs> so it gives me <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, I have had so many mock also, but again, in your yeah. mind, oh, two twenty one G. What if they reject? What if this? <laughs> that. Yeah, I was thinking like they reject me, and uh, it was uh, that day was like a lot of people were there in Chennai Embassy, and most of them were from I think masters and bachelors. So I can say like everyone is really tense, and everyone is saying like Chen Chennai is really famous for like rejection. So <laughs> I was like. what to do but i i thought like okay i i have to face it whatever it is mm -hmm. but then i went inside and there were a lot of queues and they divided us into three and uh, uh, actually uh, i i can see like that day was a rejection day in chennai i i can't see any happy faces like everyone is so sad so i was looking at them and i get like tense tense so there was a bachelor girl next to me and she said like don't worry don't worry it's okay it's okay but her turn was next and she also got rejected so oh. i was okay someone who told me no like that and she was also sad she said good luck and left and i went to the officer and she did, i i wished her good morning she actually didn't reply anything she has a cold face 
so she uh, she sent me to give uh, the i20 and passport and uh, she checked and she said like oh you're going for what you in uh, for the doctorate i said yes i actually called her sir yes sir because i i was really scared <laughs> yes sir you were not thinking <laughs> oh. <laughs> i called her sir and she said like okay uh, what's your research and i said uh, i'm going to uh, do research on bioimaging and she said like oh uh, is it fully funded i said yeah it's fully funded then she typed a little bit it's actually only 10 to 15 min- seconds like that and she like, press your fingers and uh, 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 uh congratulations your visa is approved so <laughs> so she, i i didn't allow her to finish passport thing i said like thank you so much sir <laughs> again and i left oh, it was so very very funny oh your your mock discussion and interaction has been most i think funny way i keep telling you just don't worry but you keep poking her oh, sir this sir that sir this sir that anyways have you, have, did you get your uh, passport back yet no no uh, i think the, the status is called issued sure. i think i may get this week i, I think uh, yeah so. this week you even so now you have to come back to korea for your uh, yeah defense the defense i mean graduation and when is the graduation yeah. my graduation is around 15th august 15th next month and when is the so, orientation at washu i think uh, i have to be there by 21st uh, again uh, neck to neck don't forget <laughs> yeah and did you find housing in all that all set yeah actually this fellowship has a housing like they already provide us housing okay, so that is the yeah. part of this is good uh, well it is incredible opportunity i would say navashu is a very good place i mean very good universities and uh, that will provide a good platform to become a very good scientist contribute to the, the science and society fulfilling your dream what do you want to do after completion of your phd after completion actually i it's my dream to work in nasa Oh, it's too really? much but oh okay well yeah so th- this fellowship is going to be very helpful nasa kind of yeah. things they seek separate students like that that becomes a part of creamy layer <laughs> yeah. so yes definitely we can also help we have some come a couple of my friends in nasa in some way uh, but it will see you have to long way to go but yeah you keep on building profile nicely and keep on excel academically and 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 research wise then you have a shot at nasa and that what it is and also just, just so you know uh, elon musk is also running a parallel nasa <laughs> i mean i mean you see i mean it i call it a parallel nasa he himself doing many things that probably nasa used to do okay so now you have two choices <laughs> nasa and- <laughs> oh I'm so happy to talk with you any message that you want to give to the audience i mean this uh, they're going to go through your, your your video interaction i think you want to inspire many students especially uh, uh, indian in in korea before uh, right so say a few words <laughs> i want to say like uh, don't lose hope i think life has a lot of ups and downs but you should not hope a lot of i'm not a perfect person to say because i get stressed too i get stressed when something happen but i i just learned that you should uh, focus on yourself and one day you will achieve what you want if you just keep on that track. that's all. good uh-huh.